Basically what we're doing is trying to get undergraduates involved in doing real research. It's very exciting to actually be working on the uh, cutting edge of cancer research. The project that we're working on, John's specifically working on, is developing a new anti-cancer drug and from there, now we have to synthesize it and make sure that what we've said is going to work is actually going to work. One of the major downfalls of chemotherapy is the fact that it is intended to kill cells and what the research on chemotherapy is, is trying to find agents that kill cancer cells but not human cells. And a lot of the time, that's a very fine line. So any improvement on that is of high interest to the medical community. Well, you know, it's interesting talking about John in this fashion of doing research. It's not just John, it's students in general. Every situation is different. Can you apply what you've learned? As soon as you get faced with an obstacle, how do you get past it? In a classroom organic chemistry lab, the outcome's already known and it's been confirmed to work. But in a research lab, you don't know whether what you're actually doing is going to work or not because you could be the first person doing it or you may not be. In research, it's, it is, this is what we want to do, it doesn't work. Or it did work. Why did it work? Why didn't it work? Let's now take it on to the next step. And that process is, I think, very invaluable for John and for all the other students that do research in any sense, even if you have no inclination towards research, it definitely gives you a deeper insight into your own field, into your major, and you come out from it with knowledge that you never would have had otherwise.